All righty. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. I have an awesome guest with me today. Her name is Joanne Cotterman, and you will never meet her <laughs> for the most part because I call her one of my amazing crew support team. She is a wonderful genie to me. She works for Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, and she is an, a strategic account manager which that means she's my genie pretty much. <laughs> so I'm able to help support you as my clients and she supports me as a travel advisor. So hello, Joanne. Hi, Rita. It's so great to be here. Thank you for including me and inviting me to be your guest speaker today. I'm really excited to be here. Yay, awesome. I mean, you guys have been so incredibly supportive throughout these past couple months. I was like, of course, I need to have Royal Caribbean here, <laughs> and I would much rather be wherever you are right now <laughs> in that beautiful background. Uh, yeah, it's it's great. You can see it's pretty quiet up here on the boardwalk right now on a, one of our beautiful Oasis class ships. Um, it's not much happening. It's early in the morning where I'm talking to you from. But it's actually one of our beautiful virtual settings that we have to choose from to do our Zoom calls. So um, it's, I'm really not here. I'm, I'm talking to you from my <laughs> home environment, but we all wish we were yeah. here sitting on the boardwalk having this chat today, for sure. Oh, for sure, yeah. Can you give us just a brief background so people know um, just how much you know that you're not a newbie to Royal Caribbean. You've been with Royal Caribbean quite some time now. Oh, I'd love to. Um, but if I could even back up a, li a little bit further than Royal Caribbean, I started in the cruise industry in 1985. I like to say I was just eight years old. That isn't <laughs> really true. Um, I, I was with a company that um, operated here in Port Canaveral. It was called the Big Red Boats, Premier Cruise Lines. So I was with them for actually 15 years. And the majority of my time with Premier Cruise Lines was in the group charter and incentive sales. So I have a strong passion for that this type of business mm -hmm. um, and, a, and a true understanding of the level of service that is required and just all of the beautiful benefits that go along with um, producing and um, executing a program such as an incentive program on board. So many benefits. But then I started with Royal Caribbean. It's been 19 years now that I've been in the, uh, the side with Royal Caribbean and I love it. it would, as you can see, we have beautiful, amazing ships. We have fantastic destinations. So now we put the the incentive business with the, you know, the partnering it with Royal Caribbean, you, you just can't go wrong. It's a win-win. I, I agree. Cause like, even just looking at the background, there's quite a few venues for like some team events or some small business events there. Or if you're bringing a larger team, I have even seen where they've used that whole big atrium there for like a dessert party. Absolutely, they have. This is a great venue to do some special theme events. If um, And we've got many more throughout the ship that we can uh, introduce, whether it's the Royal Promenade or the um, Central Park. There's beyond what we have with the meeting rooms or the conference space or theater, uh, there's so many options and choices that we can incorporate into private events that makes it really special for our award winners. Mm -hmm. So what, well, first of all, um, because there's lots of different ways to incentivize teams or to kind of go a little bit deeper in your business mission, why should corporate decision makers and small business owners really consider doing a cruise retreat versus another form of incentive? That's a really great question. And um, I actually did a little bit of study in because I knew you were going to ask me this question. And I, <laughs> and I looked into it. Um, you know, instead of programs are a win-win for both the employer and the employee. The employer gets great business results. They grow mm -hmm. their business. The employee gets, um, you know, much appreciation for the employer. And, you know, it's just, again, it's a win-win. And a lot of case studies have been made as to the type of incentive reward um, what has the better or greater value. And it's been proven time and time again that 
travel incentive really creates a better, um, longer lasting, right? Because we're creating memories of a lifetime. Yeah. Then a, say a cash incentive, not to say a cash incentive is bad and people love them. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just that many times once the cash is gone, the incentive memory is gone where it just kind of makes sense, right? You take a, you take a travel incentive and you're creating these beautiful memories. And, and many times the incentive reward is a group reward. So you're also getting the benefit of the team yeah. and bonding and, 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 and growing together. So um, it, it, again, any type of incentive program is a win-win, yeah. but travel incentive is the greater, um, more effective incentive that a company can offer. Yeah. And even just thinking about it on like a personal standpoint, I might remember like a couple times where I've been given like a gift card for something, but I can tell you about all my most <laughs> recent cruises yeah. <laughs> that I've yeah. had like Alaska or going to Europe. Um, but yeah, and I can't even like, if I use the gift card, I couldn't tell you what I spent it on. So I, I, I understand the concept where travel is just more, it's like a stamp a stamp that's been placed on, on your heart, on your mind, it lasts longer. Yes. Yeah. And I can speak personally for myself too. When we do incentive programs through Royal um, and we have them um, and they're both their cash incentives and travel incentives. I too remember the travel mm-hmm. part of my rewards so much greater and with so much more um, passion than the cash incentive, but. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, so if we're going to be comparing a cruise retreat versus a land retreat, and I, I have talked about this, but I think it's good to have another perspective. Why is the cruise retreat overwhelmingly better than just doing a simple land retreat? Well, I actually made myself a little cheat sheet oh, good. <laughs> because there is um, actually a very long list of the benefits of the program being cruise versus land. Mm -hmm. And um, some of the most um, that are um, cost effective would be that the meeting space um, is complimentary. And we have meeting space on board our ships, the conference rooms that can accommodate up to 400 guests. We have theaters that can accommodate up to uh, 13 or 1400 guests. We don't charge for our standard audio visual equipment mm-hmm. our health clubs our fitness centers are complimentary we have a wide choice of activities for everyone to do um, outside of the meetings or for the companions while uh, if they're allowed to come on board the companion has many many choices and options to do yes. while the other half is sitting in meetings but <laughs> the entertainment is included and our daily programs are free Uh, We have lots of dining options. There's at least 20 different dining options to choose from. And it's just easier overall because you have one corporate event planner um, Mm -hmm. on board. So, or two, depending on the size of the ship, but you have one point of contact. And so if you're not running for for the corporate planner, you're not running all over talking to the dining room manager, talking to housekeeping, talking to um, the room delivery or you're just one point of contact, so it makes it very easy. There's there's no need to choose the menus because we've got the menus there. And um, we also provide a lot of marketing support for you. So through our collateral site, we can give you uh, support with flyers, letterhead, postcards, digital support. And in these times, the digital side of marketing is becoming even more important. And we've got all that available to support you and to support the companies that are bringing the incentive program Mm -hmm. on board. So, and Royal Caribbean has the highest guest satisfaction in the vacation arena. So you know that you're on an award-winning brand and that you're going to have just an amazing time all the way around. That I I was going to say, that's one of the benefits of Royal Caribbean, especially if you have multi-generations that work in your company or that you're bringing aboard. If if it's like you're a small business coach or like doing a training retreat, there's something for everybody, no matter like if they want to be super active or just super laid back. So that's, that is a huge benefit. And then uh, though not complimentary, 
you guys have the best internet at sea, Zoom, <laughs> uh, which I got to try last year on my last cruise before we stopped. <laughs> and it, yeah. was, it was like being at home. It wasn't, it didn't feel like I was on an international trip. It absolutely is amazing. It is the high, it's a high speed internet. It's just like the a service you would get at home. Um, so if your, your company involves uh, being connected while you're gone or, you know, part of your training involves being connected, we can provide that. Um, there is a cost, as you said, but it's a very um, valuable uh, program. It, it's not, it's, it's comparable to, I think it's something around $20 per person per day for the unlimited package with the standard program. And then it can go up to the surf and stream and a little bit better um, or more inclusive program. But it's, um, it's really very economical to, to bring that program onto part of the program. So you can actually include a lot of programming into the, to the group. So if you want to include it, it can all be purchased up front. So it's not something that has to be passed on to the individual. It can be part of their package as well. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a really good point. Um, so we talked a little bit about what special things that we can do, but what are some special, special things that maybe I don't even know that can be done on the ships that people can utilize to captivate their audience? Well, first of all, we're starting with amazing ships, right? Our ships are so innovative. We bring so many activities in general, uh, rock climbing, ice skating, surf wave, uh, the Royal Promenade. There's just so many things unlimited. But when we're talking about the incentive programs, we really want to make sure that we're making that incentive group or those folks that are part of that incentive group feel very special because they have achieved amazing things. And we really want to make sure that they are identified, uh, whether it's through award presentations, private cocktail parties, uh, team building events. You know, again, we can bring in uh, some of the, the features of the rock wall, the flow rider, golf, beach Olympics, scavenger hunts, trivia games. There's lots we can do as far as um, team building events as well group photos, we always have a photographer on board. So there's so many things um, in our TV program with the TVs in the staterooms, we can actually dedicate a channel to the group that's mm -hmm. in their stateroom. Yeah, and then, you know, we can do things with their company logo from placing it on the menus in ice carvings, in cakes and desserts and banners and, you know, just overall the daily activity programs that we can give that corporate identity um, and awareness to others. And they really become in this setting on a cruise, their own celebrity because everybody sees, you know, um, that co company, I, you know, logo and they, they know that there's somebody very special on board or a very special group on board. So they get a lot of recognition that way. And our uh, cruise directors will speak um, and to the groups as well. So they're, you know, being called out and identified. We can do things with the turndown service. So gifts can be um, each night at turndown and personalizing door plaques. So the opportunities and the ideas are really endless um, that we can bring and provide. Uh, and we have a special group, even Shoreside, so each ship has an event coordinator that you work with yes. at, when you're planning the group. So that event coordinator is the one that's communicating with the onboard group coordinator and the other department heads, even before this, the sailing takes place. So all of that information then is communicated and planned and the details are, are planned out before the, the, the group sails. And then all of that is, um, those ideas are shared and, and you know, planned out before. So lots of things that we can do, a lot of opportunities. That's, yeah, that was the, the dedicated channel on TV. That was- <laughs> Didn't I think about that. That yeah. one before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, again, like you said, there are some costs involved in that, but they're very minimal. Um, but there's, you know, again, you can take it, make it as simple or 
as elaborate as you want to do. Like you said, a whole buffet could be lined up down the boardwalk that can, again, with the ice carvings and the logos and the banners that would identify the company ID and logo. That would really be awesome to see. Yeah. Yeah, Something of that nature. It makes you feel really special because as part of my host agency, so my bigger travel agency, They've done things for that. And you're kind of like, Ooh, that's mine. That You can't touch it. You're not part of the brew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's exclusive. Yes. It's exclusive to them. And it just, it does give them bragging rights and just, it's very proud to see, you know, again, the achievements that they've made and the rewards that they get um, over and above the wow factor that the ships bring on just a, a a, a regular vacation, not a regular, but, you know, w- with the vacations that experience that we offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what kind of, I mean, I know what kind of venues, but we want to share what kinds of venues are available on board and what kind of tech, because I think when people are like, okay, so you're going to, we're going to go on a cruise ship and we're going to like do all these sessions but how does that work on a cruise ship? (laughs) (laughs) That's a really good question. And what most people don't realize is that our ships are built with um, conference rooms, just like they would have at resorts. So our conference rooms are equipped with all of the -the state-of-the-art multimedia technology. This can include video walls, teleconferencing, LCD projectors, the sound systems, the light lighting systems. So when we talk about bringing a a group on board and we put them in a conference room. The conference room, as we mentioned, is is complimentary. There's no charge. The audio visual that's there as a standard setup has no charge. Um, Once we start getting into some of the bigger staging venues, such Mm as our theater, which could accommodate up to 3,400 guests or or Studio B, which is our ice skating rink, can accommodate up to 750 guests, or maybe it's in the Aqua Theater. All the way behind me, which you can't see, is an incredible venue that seats 700 guests. Uh, the, the, then we require the use of our sound and light technicians because our equipment um, really needs their expertise to to manage throughout that meeting or performance. But it, again, it's a very minimal cost. It runs something like $75 an hour for us to have a sound and light tech there to a company. Maybe it's the company's sound and light or they're doing the, the running of the full show um, for that particular meeting. So um, we've got, again, just endless venues and options that are a huge wow factor. We have our meetings on board the ship. We're okay. typically in the theater or we're, because we're such a large group when we get mm-hmm. all of the sales team together and we're either in the in the theater or we're in Studio B. Now, Studio B, as I mentioned, is our ice skating rink. So yeah. you're not sitting actually in the, you know, on the ice or with the ice. The, there's a floor, a wood floor that's actually covers the ice and we can do the full staging um, we've done award parties in there. We've done cocktail parties in there. We've done our, you know, full meetings. And there's a video, like, outlining the uh, the parameters of the room, video walls. So all of that is just um, connects, and um, it's, it's an amazing venue. So state-of-the-art, really, when you think about it. Um, again, no charge for taking the public areas, only when you have to start building bringing in if it's sound and light. But if you're using one of our public, large public venues, such mm-hmm. as the theater, Studio B, or even the Aqua Theater, if you're just having a guest speaker and you just need a microphone in a, in a podium, there's no cost for that. We'll provide you with the podium, we'll provide you with the setup and the, and the microphone. So um, it's, it's again, the, 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 choices, the choices and the options are really just endless as to what we can offer and so cost effective when you start comparing it to a land program and and what we have for you um, at sea. You think about some of our our entertainment that we perform, right? So we've got full Broadway shows on the ships, which, you know, have no cost to the guests, but would you bring in your meeting or um, sessions into the theater and you're seeing and you have capability of using some of that sound and light technology or the multi-level staging, uh, it is a, it is a wow factor. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. And I think that's, that that's really what the benefit is, is just, it's so customizable. So if you only have a small group of 20, cause you're doing a mastermind and you just need like a small lounge for most of the day, that's doable. And you don't, you don't need to have, cause I know some places on land, you might need the requirement that you're going to have to use AV, but that's not a requirement on at least rural Caribbean. Um, or you can do the elaborate setups like we were just talking in the promenade with the ice sculptures or do your keynote speech in the theater. Really every anything is possible that you might have on land and way more economical. I really <laughs> like the benefit that you had mentioned before where you were saying that and you don't even have to pick out the menus because food and beverage is the most, is the highest. <laughs> expense that you're going to have and ooh, it is so crazy so that and having to decide and pick for everybody okay this is the menu that we're going to have that option gets eliminated once you're on once you're on board because you don't even have to think about it yeah and if you want to even take it to another level some of our ships have uh, well, all of our ships have specialty dining. Some have more because the ships are larger and accommodate. So you can actually do, um, if you want to do where you're calling out your top achievers and you want to do a specialty dining um, for that group, or you want to take the whole group again, depending on the size, we can do um, the specialty dining. We do buyout packages. So if you want to take 150 Central Park for one evening or Chop Steakhouse or Jamie's Italian um restaurant, uh, or it's a Zoomies, or maybe all of them, uh, you've got those options too. So there's those choices in addition to the amazing meals that we offer in the traditional setting in the dining room, where the group will always be seated as a group in mm -hmm. the dining room too. So um, things we can do in there, people will bring in table tents and um, different things to call out the group before each seating for for that group as well. So there's things you can do to decorate the table to show your appreciation and awareness of the group through their logos. So that's something. That's so amazing. I I thought I knew a lot about Royal Caribbean. Even I learned <laughs> a new <laughs> trick or two today. Uh, before we jump off, is there anything that you wanted to mention that we haven't talked about already? Well, I think we should call out that our ships are, um, we, have, we have 300 destinations. We have home ports from around the world. Um, and we're, we're starting, uh, well, we have itineraries from around the world, but uh, we've got new itineraries that are, are now rolling out um, with Barbados being a home port, but we have home ports of Port Canaveral, of course, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Tampa. We have Galveston, Baltimore, um, Boston, Cape Liberty. So they're, we're making it easier to bring the ships to your backyard so it's easier to get to and not always having to include flight. So that's something to think about. And of course, our destinations are amazing. You know, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, um, Bermuda, Alaska, Europe, Canada, New England, Australia, it just goes on and on. So, um, so many choices and, and so many options. Yes, no, it's always, amazing to work with Royal Caribbean because of the options that are available. And I know I'm very knowledgeable. And so when you're working with me, you get that value of the brain that I've accumulated the past couple of years on over 20 plus cruises. But you also get the awesome support team that I have behind me, which includes Joanne. So if there's something that I can't answer offhand, I always have someone that I, that I can call to assist with that. And I also do provide onboard services because really what I want to do is make sure that you are taking care of your team or the people that you bring on board so that you're focused on the content. You don't have to focus on the different logistics like, oh, the techs aren't here. Oh, the water hasn't been filled. Oh, we don't have our menus. That's something that I take care of. And you can have full concentration on what you're doing and what your group is up to. So thank you so much, Joanne, for coming aboard. Oh, coming aboard. <laughs> You're welcome. And I can't wait to see you all on board a Royal Caribbean ship very soon. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.